Hi, this is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guest today is Sam Weiss, an artist who has an exhibit up right now at CSPS Hall. Sam, welcome. Thank you. Off the air, we were talking about your uh, uh, your vagabond existence. You <laughs> st- you grew up uh, here in the Lynn County area, then moved away, lived in Washington and Florida for a long time, and. Uh, now you're back. So before we talk about your art, talk about coming back to live in Cedar Rapids after being gone for, you know, close to 40 years. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a strange thing. Uh, my family, you know, they're all here. And they said, oh, gosh, why don't you come home? You know, I had a divorce and, the, and I was kind of drifting around in my mind. What will I do now? And they, they talked me into it. So I bought a house in Lisbon. And because I wasn't, I had not lived in a town since 1999 in an actual town. So I was a little bit leery of what that might be like. And uh, that was fun. And then I found uh, some acreage out by Stone City and uh, moved out by Grant Wood. Well, you know? there you go. <laughs> if uh, As an artist, that's a, that's a good place to be. It seems like a natural progression, doesn't it? Tell me about the, uh, about, about the kind of painting you do. Uh, it's a non-objective abstract. And uh, what that really means is it's painting for the sake of the paint. It, uh, I don't approach it with a topic in mind. I'll lay in some... Colors, uh, usually dark uh, shapes. Sometimes I've even done things like painted an entire landscape or a portrait and then buried it under about 50 layers of paint. But, you know, you get a base to work from, and I um, apply paint in different ways. Sometimes I throw paint. Sometimes I apply it with a, uh, those little foamy brushes on a stick that you get at the hardware store. And... Uh, it's a uh, layer of layer and layer. It's acrylic paint, uh, so essentially plastic. But the reason I work in acrylic, and it turns out it's good for the style that I paint in, but I found out I was incredibly allergic to oil paint. Oh, well, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. I was uh, working in my studio this is several years ago, and uh, I started getting a sore throat. I thought, well, I'm going to go home, make some tea or something, and... Uh, we get up the next morning, it's like, I feel fine. That was weird. And I go back to work in the studio, and here we go again. And I, I wouldn't have really known what was going on had I not met in Seattle the uh, regionally famous painter Alden Mason, who was one of the first painters to use acrylic paint in the 60s when it came out, and it was terrible stuff back then. I, I remember what it was like. It was gloppy. Uh, you couldn't really do much with it. But he made some great paintings with it. And he told me that he was so allergic to oil paint that he was hospitalized. So I don't know what's in it. It wasn't the turpentine or anything like that. It was the paint itself, just right out of the tube. So anyway, it works out for me. <laughs> so you've got so your show is up right now. It's uh, you. It's at CSPS, and it's you and two other women. There are two other women artists. Uh, there are three galleries. So when you come in uh, the, the door, you can walk right into the lower gallery and see some really beautiful work. And then you come upstairs, and uh, there's the bar and the music hall. And uh, off the bar is this uh, a smaller gallery. Uh, there's also another woman who did um, a, a performance video, which is playing in the little room off there, mm. which is really, it's an interesting piece. I really like it. She's got a... Uh, a beautiful carved canoe, and she moves it through the forest and lays down in it. That, that doesn't sound like <laughs> much, does it? But it's really cool. <laughs> and the I think you said the exhibit has been up for a little while, but there's going to be a reception coming up. <clears throat> yes, uh, it went um, up on December 5th. It opened, and uh, then on the, the 16th coming up uh, will be another reception with possibly some discussion with... Uh, the painters and can press us to see what what was going through our little minds when we did this stuff. Yeah. So uh, have you have you have you done those kinds of uh, receptions before, where there was some question and answer? What what uh, what kind of questions do you get as oh, a have mercy. as a painter? Uh, there there are uh, you know with the non objective abstracts there are a lot of questions. Like the main one is why 
<laughs> you know, people are looking. People are looking for things that are familiar in a painting, and they. I've watched people just stand there and look for the hidden horse, and it's not in there. No, oh, because but, you buried it under fifty it, layers it, of paint. It, it, it's dead, you know. But um, I, it, it's interesting. Uh, people ask intelligent questions. Um, I've noticed, um, uh, like, what s- sort of energy was I trying to achieve, you know, with this color, with these colors together? Not necessarily anything uh, that I would have expected people to ask, which I don't know what I expected to ask, actually. (laughs) (laughs) How long will the show be up? The show is up until February 2nd. Okay. And um, then uh, comes down, we caucus, there you go. (laughs) How many pieces do you have up? There are 10 paintings. Um, two of them are from a series that I did called Red Blooms. Uh, people are calling them poppies. You can call them that if you like. I call them Red Blooms. I have a scientist friend who says, oh, those are red corpuscles. I said, okay. Oh, well, that does, that doesn't sound as pretty as poppies. It's not as pretty as poppies, is it? But, um... The, there are, most of the paintings are four foot by three foot. One of them is uh, three foot by five foot. It's a long painting. And uh, then there are uh, like three smaller pieces, 30 inch by 40 inch. Um, the, uh, the, the poppies, the, the Red Bloom series is kind of interesting because I use a lot of metallic paint in them and juxtaposition of... Uh, colors that make uh, the red just sort of leap out at you. It's sort of alarming. <laughs> yeah, because alarming is what, uh, that, that's, that's what you're looking for. I was going a, for that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, then some other, everything is, uh, uh, in, colors tend to be rather exciting. They're not like uh, muted and uh, they're very bright. Some people are uh, a little shocked by that, but uh, they're nice. The exhibit is up until February 2nd. You can uh, visit CSPS uh, Hall during their business hours or visit visit them online at legionarts.org if you'd uh, like to make sure you go when they're open and stuff. Is there a place, do you have a website or a place where people can contact you if they're interested in more? I have a website. It's uh, samwise.net. So, no, it isn't. It's samwise1.net. <laughs> Got a new website. <laughs> yeah, no, it isn't. Um, yeah, and the, the, that website is just dedicated to the paintings. It, it leaves out the guitar playing. Oh, okay. So, well, we, well, we didn't even get into your music, oh, but you, you've you uh, performed and uh, yeah. uh, made a living as a musician all over the country, yeah. too. Are you playing r- right now, too? I'm, I'm playing right now a friend's setting up a couple shows out in seattle area so i'll be traveling uh later after the show comes down here i'll be traveling out Hope, that way well, hopefully we'll have a chance to hear you locally here at some point i'm too. sure you will okay again samweiss1.net if you'd like to uh visit sam's paintings online and again the um reception and artist conversation will be january 16th and and you can visit legionarts.org for the full schedule and more information Excellent. Sam, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me over. You can hear the Culture Crawl live on the radio most weekdays at 1020 or download the video podcast, watch or listen on your own schedule at kcck.org slash culture or using your favorite podcast app. I'm Dennis Green and I'll talk to you later.